Hello and welcome back to this week's edition of the 90 second update. Coming up, women's tour time trials update, charity beer festival recap and Addiston shines again. The women's tour will break new ground once again in 2021 when Warwickshire hosts the first individual time trial stage in race history this October. Addison will host this time's trial start and finish on day three of this year's race, Wednesday 6th of October, making a record fourth time that the women's tour will have visited our town. As this is a time trial, rather than just a stage start, it will mean that unlike previous year's events, we will get to enjoy seeing the riders back in the town after the race for a full day of time trials. This is a great opportunity for businesses to get involved and help create an event for people to enjoy all day rather than just for a couple of hours. We spoke to Councillor David Wright, leader of North Warwickshire Borough Council, about the event and what it means to Atherston and for businesses in our town. Hello, I'm David Wright, I'm the leader of North Warwickshire Borough Council and I'm here to say how we excited uh, we are that uh, the women's tour is coming back to Atherston and this time for longer. The organisers and cyclists clearly love Atherston as this uh, is the record fourth time they are coming back. The eyes of the world will be on our town and our, and our borough. Fantastic opportunity to see some top class athletes battling it out. It's a great draw for cycle enthusiasts and visitors who want to be close up to the action. And it's a chance to showcase what Atherston and North Warwickshire has to offer and help put our town on the world map. We will be visiting uh, businesses in the coming weeks to explore how you can promote your business and get involved in this great event. Looking back to last weekend, Atherston enjoyed its first official event of 2021 after lifting of restrictions. A wonderful event enjoyed by hundreds with an opportunity for people to finally have time to relax and enjoy a gathering of friends and family with live entertainment. This event was in aid of raising funds for North Rockshire first responders and we will be able to report on the final total raised very soon, so watch out for a special update coming soon. The event organisers would like to thank all that attended and helped raise funds for such an important resource for our town. They would also like to thank their sponsors, Atherston Town Council and Green Court for their support. You can catch up on the highlights of the weekend's events by watching our special video only on the Stone Channel, so after this programme, maybe take a look. As previously featured on our 90 second update, a local resident was a victim of crime on her first out into our town after a recent bereavement. Thanks to an appeal from our local Atherston and District People's Forum and kind assistance from Pennysworth and the printing shed, the people of Atherston managed to raise not only the money that was stolen but enough for two additional charities nominated by the victim. Rough Luck Rescue and Dun Roman Rehoman was also received much needed donations. A total of £645 was raised by the kind-hearted people of Atherston. This was presented at the recent beer festival as well as a hamper donated by Edible Links and an afternoon tea for two, donated by the Black Horse Pub Atherston. So a big thank you from us all. Well that's it for this week guys. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any important updates from us here at the Sewing Channel. See you soon and stay safe. Bye.